Are you looking for best multi-tools in your budget? Well, in today's video, we break down the top five best multi-tools that are available on the market. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, quality, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. At number five, Rovatac Multitool. Rovatac's 12 in one initially caught our eye because users on Amazon rated it highly and it's affordable too. While it might be a little bulky and heavy, we have to admit it's a decent value. We don't expect it to hold up to heavy use, but in a save your butt kind of capacity, most of the tools functioned acceptably well. The long nose pliers, wire cutter, and wire stripper all worked reasonably well, as did the can and bottle openers and various screwdrivers. Rovatac claims the tool includes a saw blade, but it's more like a serrated knife, which worked just not very well. The plain knife blade is sharper than it looks and easily cut through rope and twine during our tests. The Rovatac multi-tool comes with a sewn nylon sheath to attach to your belt. Don't expect this device to be the pride of your tool collection, but when you need it most, the Rovatac is more than ready to tackle the job. At number four, Gerber Gear Armbar Drive Multi-Tool. With its felt minimalist frame featuring three main tools, this Gerber multi-tool cuts down on the crap and keeps its tools simple and effective. As a pocket knife based multi-tool, it features a full three inch locking plane blade. Although it isn't the sharpest right out of the box, it was keen enough to cut cleanly through paper, plastic, rope, twine and stake and was adequate for some light whittling. The side opposite the blade features a hex bit driver and scissors. The driver features a reversible bit in a magnetic holder. We love this because you get legit flat and Phillips screwdrivers that just plain work. The scissors are a bit larger than those found on other models and were easy to control cutting out intricate shapes from paper to medium cardboard. Between the scissors and the driver is a sharp, narrow awl. We were able to use this to drill holes in wood and plastic, but it works well, as intended, to poke holes through leather and canvas. Rounding out the armbar's eight functions are a nice bottle opener that pivots of the end of the tool frame, a pry bar using the bottle opener flipped over, and a hammer using the wide base of the bottle opener. In the traditional sense, the hammer isn't what you'd expect, but who among us hasn't hit something using a tool as a makeshift hammer? At number three, SOG Powerleader Mini Utility Multi-Tool. This Powerleader exhibited a buttery smooth action that was so pleasing, we could barely stop playing with it. Its main pivot is a geared compound leverage mechanism that opens in perfect symmetry. Squeezing the tool frame closed, a latch on the opening end maintains pressure on the jaws, holding the bit securely in place, which works amazingly well. Although you do need to supply your own hex bits. SOG calls this a mini multi-tool, and the power leader is about two thirds to three quarters the size of most tools of this type. The narrow pliers worked very well in testing, and we found the ridged surfaces of the jaws gripped things firmly. The bypass wire cutters did a great job cutting and stripping 14 gauge copper wires and the crimper on the opposite side of the pivot, although small, was effective. The opposing frame includes scissors, a bottle opener, a small Phillips screwdriver, a can opener and the latch that holds the tool frame closed. These all worked as expected, although we had trouble at times engaging the outer lip on certain cans with the can opener. At number 2, Leatherman Free P2 Multi-Tool. The Free P2 is built with tight tolerances, evident in its smooth opening and closing action. You can open it with one hand and it makes a gratifying click as the handle locks in place. A nice feature of the P2 is tool accessibility. All of the implements are accessible without opening the pliers. We were impressed with the pliers as their tight pivot, strong grip and replaceable wire cutting blades performed well under testing. The wire stripper, included on the medium screwdriver, only really worked on wire of a specific size. However, the notch for hard wire worked well up to 12 gauge. At number one, Victorinox Swiss Army Classic SD Pocket Knife. When I first started getting into Swiss Army knives as a young outdoor enthusiast, I immediately jumped on the more is better bandwagon. But decades later, it's the classic and inexpensive SD7 from Victorinox that's the best in my opinion. Housing just six highly practical tools plus a key ring, its small form is easy to carry 
and has a much broader relevant user base than many other multi-tools. Of course, you can always look to the bigger Swiss Army knives if you are going to use the additional tools. The SD7 comes out of Switzerland and has a lifetime warranty. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and check out the description for links to updated pricing for products mentioned in the video. Until next time.